All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to show you how to solve a PDE using the Chen Lu. So what I'm going to illustrate is a part of what's called a coordinate method, which is another useful PDE technique. Just like a transform method, which I may have talked about in another video, or, or the geometric method to solve it by characteristics. So let's take this really complicated PDE. And by the way, if you're in my class, you're just responsible for the case where this is zero. So this is slightly beyond the course. But what we would like to do is to define new coordinates. Uh, and I did it with xi and eta, and it became such a mess that it might be easier to use x prime and y prime. So let x prime be something and y prime be something else. And careful, those are not derivatives. Those are just our new variables. Think u and v, except we're already using u for uh, our function. So here, what can we use for x prime and y prime? Well, how about this term, 2x minus y? And then for y prime, maybe let's factor this out. So this is 2x minus y. And then maybe plus 2y. Let's try x plus 2y. And this gives you 2x squared plus 4xy minus yx minus 2y squared. So bazinga, this works. And we get x plus 2y. It's kind of orthogonal, like 2, 1 is orthogonal to minus 1, 2. So maybe a good reason why this might work. And by the way, so if this term were zero, or this is, you know, zero, then we could actually solve this. But it's really the fact that we have those two terms that makes this messy. But we have our new variables. Let, now let's rewrite ux and uy in terms of the variables. So ux, that's partial u over partial x. And now just differentiate the hell out of everything partial u over partial x prime, partial x prime over partial x, plus partial u over partial y prime, partial y prime over partial x. And that becomes u x prime. Now, the derivative of x prime with respect to x is 2. And then u y prime. And the derivative of y prime with respect to x is 1. So we get 2ux prime plus uy prime. That's on the one hand. On the other hand, uy, that's partial u over partial y, that's partial u over partial x prime, partial x prime over partial y, because we want to differentiate with respect to y, partial u over partial y prime, partial y prime over partial y, and that becomes so ux prime, and then dx prime over dy, which is minus 1, plus uy prime. dy prime with respect to y, that's 2, so we get minus ux prime plus 2uy prime. So that is that, and then we, by the way, notice, those look much more complicated than ux and uy, but you'll see it actually simplifies our PDE. So if we plug this in, we get 2 ux prime plus uy prime plus, so 2 times this, so minus 2 ux prime plus 4 uy prime, and then plus so the first thing is x prime u, and then the last term is x prime y prime. Okay, now it looks complicated, but you see, those terms cancel out. And what we're left with is actually sort of like an ODE, but in y prime. So we have 5 u y prime uh, plus x prime u equals x prime y prime. So in other words, u y prime plus x prime over 5 u equals x prime y prime. 
So already much better. We had this complicated PDE, we reduced it to a sort of an ODE. And let me just write down those variables before I erase the board. Okay, 2x minus y, x plus 2y. Very good. No, okay. So then our PDE, well, no, actually, it's fine. <laughs> we already rewrote the PDE, so can we erase that and that? Okay, now, how do we solve this? Well, let's go back to the ODE world. So suppose here y, is, y prime is actually the derivative. You want to solve y prime plus ay equals bx or something. And if our, our variable here, remember, is y prime. Everything else is constant. Okay, well then the way you would do this, you would multiply this by the integrating factor. Let's say you multiply this by e to the ax times this, and then you would actually have a ODE which you can solve. Well, here we want to do the same thing. We want to take this PDE and multiply this by e to the something, and I believe here it's e to the x prime over 5. Why? Ah, okay, sorry. Forgot, you divide by five as well. Okay, uh, I was always wondering where this five appeared. Now I know. Okay, so we have this, and then you multiply this by e to the x prime over five, uh, y prime. Because you see the derivative of this with respect to y prime is in fact x prime over five, e to the x prime over five, y prime. And remember to do this, uh, both uh, on both sides. Okay, so we have this. Then what we get? So e to the x prime over 5, y prime, u y prime plus x prime over 5, e to the x prime over 5, y prime, u equals x prime y prime over 5, e to the x prime y prime over 5. And I know it looks confusing, but in a previous take, I did it with xi and eta, which was such a mess. So actually, I'm, I'm glad I'm redoing this. Now, this thing is actually the derivative of one function, which is simply e to the x prime y prime over 5, u, y, u with respect to y prime. And we know that is x prime y prime over 5 e to the x prime y prime over 5. Okay, that is good because, by the way, that follows from the Prada loop because the derivative of this is u y prime. The derivative of this with respect to y prime, it's this constant x prime over 5 and then all the other terms. Okay, good. So all we need to do is integrate. So e to the x prime y prime over 5 u equals integral x prime y prime over 5 e to the x prime y prime over 5 with respect to y prime and now I know it looks it's complicated but let's integrate by parts because you see those are variables so what we want to do is so we leave this alone, we integrate that. So x prime y prime over 5, e to the x prime y prime over 5, and then with respect to y prime, so I think 5 over x prime. Now I want some prime rim. <laughs> so many primes. Okay, and then minus, now you differentiate this with respect to y prime. So x prime over 5, and then this junk. So e to the x prime y prime over 5, 5 over x prime, and then dy prime. And there are some simplifications. So this simplifies, this simplifies, and then also very nice, those things simplify. And you're left with uh, y prime e to the 
x prime y prime over 5, and then you integrate this, so minus, I think, 5 over x prime e to the x prime y prime over 5, well, plus a constant, but constant with respect to y prime. So, in other words, any function of x prime. Okay, and what did we calculate? This was indeed e to the x prime y prime over 5u. So, all you need to do is divide by e to the x prime y prime over 5. So, u becomes at y prime minus 5 over x prime plus f of x prime e to the minus x prime y prime over 5. And lastly, we just need to write this in terms of our original frame. Let me just double check if the answer is correct, please. No, okay, there's a, well, oh, yeah, thank God, okay. Uh, there was a plus, but then I also defined different coordinates, so that's fine. Uh, so now, in terms of our x and y variables, that becomes, so y prime is x plus 2y minus 5 over 2x minus y plus f of 2x minus y e to the minus uh, 2x minus y and then x plus 2y over 5. <laughs> Ta-da! I know, it's a very complicated process, and you don't know what that's like my third time doing this video, and it finally worked, but here's the whole point. Sometimes with a change of coordinates, you can simplify a PDE and actually make it solvable. So this also works, you know, the same technique-ish works for the wave equation, and you know, I'll, I'll solve a wave-ish equation in a future video. All right, I hope you like that. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.